Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also the top right corner, there's a little eye. Check that out. Drop a like, subscribe as well if you like the content. Uh, so let's just recap quickly what we did in the last video. Um, we were working with text tags and we made sure the text tags could spawn at a certain position. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure we remove the tags as they die, right? <laughs> as they lose their uh, lose their timer, as uh, or whatever we call it, lifetime it was. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so I thought I'd actually go into tag text tag system dot h, and I'm gonna open up my text tag class and I'm gonna change the name of can be removed to is expired. All right. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a little better sort of a name to it. A uh, name that I like more is expired, uh, can be removed. It's just a little too long, I think. And then we're going to delete it. Now, I'm not going to use a for each loop here. I'm going to redo this. I'm going to do a little regular for loop here. This text tags, uh, tags dot size. So we're going to go through it their usual way. We can just remove the old one. Don't have to think about that too much. Uh, this, whoops, sorry about that, this tags, whoops, fat fingering all over the place, at position I, update, like that, and we're just going to send in DT, so we're updating it, now we want to check if it is time to be removed, if this text tags, I always forget that name, there you go, tags, at position I, my friends, is equal to or is expired, then we're going to go ahead and remove this. Now, remember, there is a tag in here which is allocated dynamically. So first we have to delete at that position. So don't go ahead and erase this just yet from the vector, but rather just delete that memory right there. And then what we're going to do is this tags dot erase at position this tags dot begin plus I. All right, this is the regular way we remove stuff from vectors, if you remember. And that's the reason I'm using a regular for loop so that we can remove it easily. I don't usually like using these, but you know, when there is no other way, this is the way to go. And the, the optim or what do you call it? The, uh, this whole compiler still optimizes it for us properly. So we don't have to worry about it too much. Am I recording guys? Am I? Okay. Uh, good, good, good. Okay, so once that is done, we should be able to run this and our text tag should be gone after a certain amount of time. And we should be able to see that in front of our eyes. Yep, so it's real. Oh, that's kind of a cool effect too. Like, I, I like that. I like that. Test, test, test. Okay, so good, 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 good. Now that is working real nice, real nice. Um, what we do have is a text tag, add text tag string now. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to overload this function. And overloading it is going to help us, depending on whatever is sent in here, um, we will use a different type of a, a thing imaging, all right, a different function. So I'm going to do add text tag again. I know we've gone back and forth here, but this is just it's good for you to learn, all right? So I'm going to remove that from game state.cpp. I'm going to remove that from our update player input. I'm just going to say add text tag. I'm going to go into text tag systems.h, scroll down to wherever I have this function, add text tag string from the last video, remove the string part and make sure that uh, here we also have removed the string part. Now copy paste this whole function in the cpp file and also do the same thing here. Just control D right next to it. And that will happen. Now I'm going to do a const int uh, value here. Um, okay. Const int val value. Value. Good. Uh, do the same thing here. Const int value. Nice. And uh, we're going to remove, because this takes a string. So no matter what, we're going to send in a string here. But we're going to do it in a special way. Now, whenever you send in an integer, we want to remake that into a uh, STD string 
stream. Oh, there we go. All right, we're going to re remake that into a integer. And I'm not going to not going to use to string because it's very slow. I'm going to use a string stream, which makes it a little faster. And I'm going to just go ahead and do ss val uh, like that. Write what val into this. And then I'm going to do ss.str. And we're going to get the value out here. So that's a lot easier to do it that way than any other way. Now, while we're at it, let's make one for doubles as well or floats, float values. Const float. Uh, let's call this uh, I instead and this F. A little easier to remember, I'd say. Let's go back to the CPP file. Let's call this I here, just like we changed it. Change that to I as well. Now in the float one, let's just copy paste. It's going to be the exact same thing, but we're going to switch this to F here and switch this to float. So the parameter type and the name we're going to switch and we're going to make sure that we can put it in here. Now we have three different add text tags. There's another way you could have done this is by using a template function, but then you're going to have to make this a template as well and all that stuff. I find this way a little easier. It just helps out a little bit. So we have a few different ways to do it. Now, if you really want to, you can do add text tag S, add text tag I, add text tag F. Now, that depends completely on you if you want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and remove this remove text tag as well because we're probably not going to require that. It removes itself pretty much. So we're going to just make sure that it removes itself. Uh, go into text tag system update. I just make sure everything is fine here that you are erasing the tags just like we said. Okay, good. Now let's go into tags update and see the timer. So the timer is increasing by 100 multiplied by DT. That's fine. That's good. This you can also switch depending on what type of timer you want. I'm going to go ahead in here wherever in gamestate.cpp and I'm going to go down to wherever I'm creating a text tag which is right here and I'm going to remove that because I'm doing it when I'm moving my character. Pretty much I don't want to do it there. I want to go into when I attack. So active enemies erase player gain exp. For example, TTS add text tag. Good. Enemy gain exp. Now just look at what that is. That is a const unsigned int. Uh, we'll just do that and we will say it's an unsigned integer. So you probably want to static cast that to integer like this if you want to. Otherwise, you can send it in. You'll probably get a warning. But yeah, that should that should be fine. Now, uh, once you get the EXP, you're good. Let's go ahead and see the combat here. Update combat enemy index let's go to update combat update update combat should be down here here we go so we're doing we're getting some damage stuff here uh, and we're losing hp based on that let's remove the c out and put a text tag here instead whoops what did i just do oh no where did i change it here we go so we're doing this we're copying that whole line Let's go down to update combat and paste that there. Now, this is just a little test, but I'm going to just put this in here. Get damage min. What is that? Unsigned as well. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Instead of having to cast this each time. Wait, let's do this. Uh, paste that. Paste that line. Don't worry about it. Let's make a temporary here. Uh, int uh, dmg equals static cast int and paste that damage min right in there okay so we're making a, lo a local type thing local variable type in dmg right there and go ahead and do let's not static cast that come on boy there we go dmg okay good 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 uh, but that's gonna mess with this no that's int okay good so let's see if we run this let's see so this is the distance 
from the player. It's also hard coded, uh, but that doesn't really matter that much. Uh, we're reaching the end of the video, so okay, one, 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 ten. Okay, all right. Oh, that was the exp I got. Okay, one, 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 ten. Okay, nice. All right. I see we're getting somewhere now. Now we can see the damage numbers. We can see all kinds of stuff happening. This isn't what I want to do really. In the next video, we're going to clean this up a little bit. Make sure it works nicely. Uh, we'll make a few more text tag presets so we can set this up. We'll also start working on the health bar for the enemies, the small ones. And we'll make sure we can see what's going on in the world. Because it's a very important part of a game. Because that is your interface to the world. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support as always. Take care. Check out all the description boxes, all the eyes on the top right, right corner, all the channels, everything linked. Just check that out. Hopefully you enjoy something else. And yeah, take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Bye-bye.